The company was started by my father in 1962 in Kitchener. They started manufacturing gears and he called it Ontario Drive and Gears. Then fast forward about five years uh, to 1967. The company was making a transmission for uh, an amphibious vehicle and the customer went actually uh, went under. We stopped production, we had all these transmissions on the floor. So um, somebody sort of said, well, why don't we produce the whole vehicle? We are already making the heart of it. And this is how the Argo was born in 1967. They made a decision to move out to New Hamburg. And we started building Argos on an industrial scale here. So I want to introduce you to our new vehicle. It's our flagship. It's uh, what we call our LX model. This is uh, the latest and greatest. Uh, we have a lot of new innovations on this product. We've got the silver metallic paint. It's uh, like, a, like a chrome, it's a little more durable because we use a real MPP 930 bond right, which uh, flows through all the tubes. It doesn't cause rust. It's a, a world-renowned paint system. It has a 30-horse uh, Kohler engine, which is a twin-cylinder fuel-injected liquid cooler. It's got beadlock rims that has never before been put on the Diargos. These, these things run at a pound and a half of air pressure. So the footprint on environmental is very, very low, lower than anything else being built today for off-road. It's a skid steer machine, carbon fiber seats. Uh, we also have a stereo on this one that's never before been put on an Argo. And what we do is we try to form our bodies in one piece. Being amphibious, we try not to put too many holes in it. But what he's gonna do now is blow a big bubble into it. Here comes the mold. Now he's gonna suck the air out. And you're gonna see all the dash form, the whole complete unit form. And there you have an Argo. A few things about the plant. Uh, we monitor all the quality uh, from every job station on the plant. We actually reward guys that go 90 days with zero defect. Our quality right now is averaging 0.19%, which is unbelievable. It's uh, the auto industry would kill for that. But anyways. We became sort of the, the recognized experts in the extreme terrain vehicle field. There's, there's no other vehicle that has the terrain capability of an Argo. And uh, because of that, I, one day I got a phone call saying, well, we are bidding with the, for the Canadian Space Agency, we are bidding on a lunar rover and we need a partner in our group to, who knows about uh, extreme terrain vehicles. And we thought you were the partners. We were invited um, to a partnership to develop a, a conceptual prototype for lunar rovers, which we did. So we are now in the second stage of uh, space qualifying our initial um, designs that uh, hopefully one day will fly, and fly means go to the moon in the year 2020.